Tim, right? Dylan, you remember I, Dylan? I was one of the guys that did, you know, overview. Yeah. Thank you. Thank no, you. Thank you. Want to thank you for your gift and 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 whatnot. Yo, Dom, hey. Hey, Dom, hey. Uh, Yo, Dom. No, thank you for that. That weekend was so fun, and uh, thanks yeah. for having me on. I was holding back, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could contract. tell. <laughs> you don't want to show us all up. So now, at the at the mothership, was that, was that the first time you guys worked together? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, pretty recently with uh, Eleanor Kerrigan. Yeah. Whore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard I've heard that about Big her. Big fat actually. whore. Yeah, yeah, hey, why yeah, why yeah, are her why are her fake tits so small? <laughs> She's a compact big tit. I think we should pass that over to the father. Father, father <laughs> <Irishman>. <laughs> no. She's gonna love that. <laughs> She's great. I love Eleanor. She's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> She's gonna yell at, least, at me if I if I leave this in the episode. She's gonna get mad at me. She's not gonna get mad at you guys. Well, you're you're actually the, the guy we came to see. Oh, well, thanks. Where yeah. do you get the balls? Did you see him in the name? Did you uh, see me on, on Kill we, Tony? Dylan, you know, what, Brian put his name in the bucket and got picked. Oh, did you? And he's not oh, a yeah. and he's not a comic. Oh, how'd it go? Poor scientist. <laughs> Very poorly. <It's> swimmingly. <laughs> you. Nothing, nothing remotely funny that night. Uh, so the tumbleweed got into the middle of the street, and then you come walking. Yeah, it was about uh, you know ten minutes of pain, you know, followed by a couple days of you know. Maybe, you didn't even care, did you? Nah, not really. <laughs> Fucking that must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have other things going on. I mean, I'm really more concerned about the video stuff. So. Yeah, you, you do know. great. He does a great job, and then people want to get that your, your room. Whatever you call your, what's he? Is he a, editor? If you want to get some stuff, editor. dancer. <laughs> yeah, editor. <laughs> like a singer about the moon and the moon is me. So, uh, have you seen the show? Uh, Tip I, was lie. I was Don't watching. Don't lie. Do not lie at this moment. Go ahead. I've seen about ten seconds of it. Oh yeah, how'd you like it? <laughs> I liked it. It, it builds, doesn't it? To that eight, to that eight second. <laughs> Yeah, it does. It does. So no, I was uh I was excited cuz uh cuz I get to talk and I get to be in my room too. That's what we like about the podcast also. We That's really, Dom's favorite really... part about this is you don't need to leave the house. Just walk through walls and get to another place. Scientific knowledge shows. Dom, do you got pants on right now? Or your boxers. I have a, a skirt. Uh, <laughs> skirt with a big Dildo wrapped in. Did, did, did you see a lot of people juice. wearing those kilts when you were over in Ireland or Scotland? Apparently, we have a lounge with barrier. You been there? No, I've never Scotland? been there. No, is it good? Oh, it's beautiful, yeah. That's, that's nice. What's, what's better, right. Scotland? We have an organization here. Is there anybody who wants to join in and talk to each other? With? <laughs> What is it? What are we waiting for a fucking bus here? <laughs> and welcome. <laughs> Tim, you want to take the intro? Yeah, no, no, no. I'll, I'll start talking. I get I get starstruck by you, Dom. I uh me too. I mean I, I can't believe <laughs> on me. I uh <laughs> and you know, stand up wasn't even my, my best thing. My best thing was um improv. Is that how um, you started? I started. I was kind of a mime, but I was um, like, I, 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 I was so bad that I had to, you know, to mime. I to tell you, I'm walking on the wall. There's a steam coming at me, you know, like that kind of genius. How about you? Did you want to do college? Uh, yeah, I went up at a college open mic, and there was this guy who who used a soda box, like a twelve. A uh, pack of soda, and he wore it on his head, and then uh, pretended to be a dinosaur, and he just crushed. And then, <laughs> what's he up to now? I don't know what he's up to now, but he was real funny back then. And uh, he's and then probably I, yeah. a, he's probably a video editor. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. He looked you like that, dinosaur. Dom. That's a callback, cuz. I'm learning. Do you, you write all this stuff beforehand? I'm learning, Dom Herrera. I'm picking up the skills from you. Yeah, he's you got know, notes. He, yeah, he's you got wait notes. for the laugh. Like, if it didn't laugh, you go, is it this thing? <laughs> oh, in here. It's in here. Yeah. We teach you nothing. That's what, what I wanted uh, to think of. It. What, what what school was this at? What's, what school did you go to? I Eagles. went to the school. I, I didn't go to school, but oh, when no. I did go, it was uh, Columbia College, Chicago. It was like an art school. It was the only school I could get into because it wasn't grades mm -hmm. or anything. So I, I lived in Colorado, and then I moved up to Chicago because I went to this uh, – this place, uh, Improv Olympics, some I.O. Chicago. I went to I.O. too. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. It, it, I was 18, so it was the only place I could get into. And then I saw this, like, improv people, and I was like, oh, that's crazy that people do this. And so I was like, oh, I'll kind of go around there, I guess. I hated improv. You, Dom, did you like it? Like, working, yeah, with, a like group, working with a group like that? Yeah, I like that. See, I, I always felt bad if if I if I made the wrong play, the whole team went down. Stand up, it's just you. Not necessarily, my friend. Uh, uh, wait, you didn't go to school, right? Me, I went to uh, community college in Philadelphia, wow. and then a, a year in, I decided Not college, <laughs> community college, ain't for me. It's yeah. tough. It's tough out there, you know. They tried to recruit me to University of Pennsylvania, but I said my head and my heart are with the uh, community college. <laughs> yeah. you, you had to stay loyal. That's good. We had some good ball, ball players because, you know, they were, they, they shot, practiced shooting and didn't have any um, vocabulary, um, whatever people would call it. <laughs> they didn't, they didn't have funny, the, uh... the funny is here. We have to get it out of the people. All right. How 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 did you, how did you start? Word, Dom? Yeah. What's that? How how did you start, Don? I know you did uh, like Dangerfield was your first like taping, but how did you? I, get started I started with that, and then I went to, to open night. Two years, <laughs> I was working my way down. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the Dangerfield <laughs> thing was a pretty big because they had um, you know, they, we didn't have like specials and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, but it was one special in HBO and one on uh, Showtime, I think. And then, and the rest is magic. I don't know how I do it. And, and then you so start to stand up until you moved up to New York, right? Uh, or were you do you, no, you were doing some in Philly before? I don't know. They they boost me in Philly, boost and whatever. They, they I told them I'll be back, you motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, I told them. <laughs> Bring back the heart. Tim, what like, nationality are you when your, your, your parents and grandparents? Uh, I'm uh, Italian, Irish, and Mexican. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mexican. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'll, what are you, comedian? Uh, ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I got I got a mix of everything. My brother looks Mexican, and he would go to he'd get the hispanic uh scholarships for school but he was like the whitest looking one and so there was always like awkward receptions where he'd have to get it and uh, he just looked like a dork <laughs> Is he, were you guys actually mexican or he would just say he was mexican yeah no my my uh my mom's last name is guzman but oh, okay i didn't i didn't look uh what's the day all day <laughs> mom? Is, that, is that what i heard right <laughs> no, 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 she's a uh, Guzman, and she's uh, yeah, she she doesn't look very Mexican either. But I guess we're Mexican. Uh -oh. <laughs> you know, see those guys, those three guys that got uh, killed and uh, burger burglarized and all last in Mexico. Did you see that, you guys? Oh yeah, it was uh, co college kids, right? They, they, I think they so, like, but they, they were surfing why, or something like that. Why, it was just right near California, one of the safest places. Why would you go to Mexico to fish? They have, I mean, it's so, it's so dangerous. The, the, everybody's on the take. Yeah. You know? well, we, yeah. We, some, some, they, they got killed by a Mexican gang. You know, nobody's going to go, you're kidding. This is unbelievable. 
And that came out of nowhere. Huh? <laughs> I'm supposed to feel bad for him. It's a shame, but it's a stupidity. Yeah, I, I think they were. Something um, supposed to be done about this. Let's talk to the right people. I, I, I think they were they were surfing or something like that. And and I said they were fishing. Don't contradict me. Right, These people right. are not going to look it up. <laughs> hey, uh, Tom's lying. Look, this is the truth. I'm just trying to, just trying were, to get, were, the, get the facts right. You know how hard it is to fish on a surfboard. <laughs> he did it all. Yeah. They should have fished. Uh, they should have fished at home. Just pulling up ponds in the You're goddamn right, pal. What's your name? <laughs> Dylan, huh? Like yeah, Marshall sorry. Dylan. That's a funny. That's a joke. <laughs> yeah, we need to. Uh, we need to get some audience members. You guys, you ever think of doing a you know a live audience? You guys, we we ran audience? it. We ran the idea by Dom. He really wasn't. He wasn't you into it. Dom, you know that. The, like trying it the way they do kill Tony in front of a live audience. How do you think? Well, our well, wait, 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 we'll get back to you. All right. Okay. I'm back. What are you saying? Oh, he, he, he brought up a good point. Was he working something down? No, no, no. <laughs> performing, performing in front of a live crowd, you know? That's the longest it's been since you started with this fucking crowd thing. You realize that the theme of the show is not what about what gigs can I get in New Jersey? Have a heart, will you? Have a heart. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'll talk. Have, have, have a spleen. Yeah. But don't tear my love. I'll try. I'll try not to, Don. See, uh, D it's Dylan, you set him up. Yeah. You set me up. See that? <laughs> Speak with intent. Oh, That's geez. right. What? Speak with intent. <laughs> My father was a rolling stone. My How mother... was your guys' weekend? <laughs> oh, man, I got this fucking thing. <laughs> I, I watched a little bit of the uh, Tom Brady roast today. I thought it was really good. Like, they, did, they didn't hold back at all up to the point that... I was just watching it when uh, Burt Kreischer and... Uh, Tom Segura went up there, and they they were really funny. Like they were hitting everything. They didn't uh -huh. hold back. It was the first roast I ever seen where it was like nothing was off limits, cursing everything. Because it's not it it's not affiliated with Comedy Central anymore. It's all Netflix. That's oh, cool. That, yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, they can very... actually say stuff. I I heard some of Tony, Tony Hinchcliffe was running his jokes in the club and. uh he said some pretty wild stuff on there, so that was yeah. cool. That they would let him do it. Which yeah, I didn't. I didn't the uh, roast of Tom Brady. Uh, they they did it last night, Dom. Yeah, no. and Kevin Hart was the host. Tony Hitchcliffe was on the lineup. Uh, they brought back a bunch of old players. Bill Belichick was there. Robert Kraft. He's funny, huh? They, yeah, they, 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 than the club they, 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 boo, they booed Kim Kardashian. Oh they booed Kim Kardashian. <laughs> you, you never, you just roast people in every conversation, Dom. So, what's that? You, you just roast people in conversation. Would you ever do a roast, or do you just like oh, I, done, conversation? I did a bunch of them? In fact, I was really lucky because. I was like really young to go in with these old guys. These guys are like Milton Burrow. I don't know if you remember or have seen these guys, but they were like the foundation of American stand up. Very interesting. Very interesting. Can you read? A little, yeah. That a boy. Keep it up. <laughs> what, what do we got for him, Johnny? What was That's what was a toaster. That, what, this talks. What was the first roast with, with Burrow that you did? Oh, I don't was know. It? Too long ago to remember? <laughs> What's, what's today? <laughs> um, May six. Yeah, all those guys. I got to. I get to meet, meet all, all those fucking guys. They're funny. The guy who really wanted to meet was um. You can't forget him. Uh, Dom, Jewish, did you? Guy, Jewish guy. Dom, did you ever do a roast and the, the the person you were roasting got insulted or mad, wanted to fight? Has that no. ever happened? I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. You know, um, I was working, this is when we were all uh, much younger. Mm -hmm. um, Brad, Brad Garrett, myself, and uh, what's it? 
maybe he's got his own show. Um, political comedian. Bill Maher. Uh, Bill Maher. Yeah, Bill Maher. And we're sitting there now. I went up and it was, it was Burt Reynolds roast, right? And I'm talking <laughs> about God. fucking Lolly Anderson up the ass and all this stuff. And he's and he's laughing, she's laughing, uh, and then you know, like I'm, I'm, the, all right, I'm a harmless little guy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Brad goes up and uh, he does this very you know innocuous thing and right. uh, trying to pull his hairpiece off. Run, run, run. And he gets up there and he goes, "You big guy, you want to you want to try and get it off? You want to come here and take it off?" And, and Brad goes this to me, Don. I go, what, what? What am I gonna do? I said, "You're gonna sit here and wait for him to fucking come." You don't. You can't. The guy's roast, and he starts p- fucking people, but knocking them out crazy. Yeah, but so, nothing so happened. Was, yeah, Bert, Bert was like getting mad at him for what he was saying. Yeah, I've seen it twice. It was this guy named Jack Palance, and he could he just didn't get the concept of it. They said mm-hmm. something funny, and he, he goes, "Fuck you." <laughs> that was his retort. <laughs> what did these guys get? Come to this crazy writing? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck you. Tell me to roast, roast my ass. <laughs> he didn't get the memo. <laughs> no. Yeah, this what is what we got hired to do. Yeah. Oh, that's mm-hmm. funny. They were talking about uh, Brady's wife fucking the, the help. Uh, they were talking about Am- Antonio Bra- Brown being her, her plus one. Oh. They they were, dude. They were crushing him. Yeah, good. They posted. They showed a bunch of his modeling pictures, like to break his balls. Mm. Nick Nikki Glazer. Am I saying that right? Nikki Glazer. Mm-hmm. Gla- yeah. She she had the, she had the best set up to the point that I watched. Like I said, I watched it when uh, Kreischer and Segura went up together, but. She got a standing O. Nikki. Oh yeah. Oh my God, she was. She's, so, she's, she's so far from being hot, though. She's like, right, you know, like I mean, really hot. And she's, she's got all the like, she's long and she's shapely, and but she, she's just a little skank running running out of those pores. <laughs> she, she, I think she roasted you, Dom, at the Bruce Willis roast, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, that was funny. She took a couple shots at you. Did that bother you? No, no, no. I, I, did it bother you? I don't did you, know. Did you get a gig off her? Oh, I didn't, what do you mean? I never. I would never. I don't get a gig off anybody. What do you think I am? I don't know, but it ain't com- a comedian. Ah, oh, Dom, come on. Oh, come on. We're, we're you know, going back and forth. Bang, I, bang. I didn't do nothing. What do you mean? I'm just... He didn't do nothing. Steve, is that the only reason I'm on here so that you can get booked? No, 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 yeah, no. Yeah. She'll hook you up with something. Yeah, never, <laughs> never an underlining agenda with me. Yeah, yeah. I'll send you some editing rates after the show. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Yeah. All right. Are, were you? You're not. My tits, look, my, my, my tits look sore from here. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> they look. They look. Okay, they look okay, Dom. Right. Are they sore? Yeah, have you been, uh, have you, have you been <laughs> lactating recently, Dom? Is that what it was? Yes, I have been lactating, Mister <laughs> Sister Marie Callips. Remember the name? Uh, uh, you were never an angry guy, were you? <laughs> I was never what? Are you are you an angry guy? I don't know. Yeah. What the fuck I am? Is this, is this feeding time or anything here? <laughs> yeah, I love what we did with the place, huh? Once we got in there, we started knocking things down. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's great. nice. I guess that'll wrap the show. <laughs> <laughs> I like to start with the grip. What is his name? Antonio? Antonio, get those sodas up, you motherfucker. What you got on the wall behind you? Ah, I don't know. It's something I'm on. That's a uh, Picasso original back there on the by, by the doorway, isn't it, Dom? This? Oh, yeah, that uh, one? The, yeah, the one by the yeah the, the color. Yeah, my a, the my agent wrote the the they said the a, a, a picture. I want a lot of stuff for being good, and then boom, <laughs> right right into the fucking the, the sea. Well, your wall looks good. I got blank walls, Dom. You got blamed. I got blank walls. I got. I don't. I don't got nothing on the walls. Well, you, 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 you took it off. Maybe someday you make the wall. <laughs> yeah. That's it. 
<laughs> Very confused group. Yeah. What can I say? I, I promised myself I wasn't going to cry tonight. Here I go, filling up again. <laughs> so what are you doing? Are you, are you booked for the weekend? Maybe we can get it, get it done right here. <laughs> Does anybody have a good... <laughs> uh, good, good. Yeah, I got... I got I got I got some shows. I'm doing a couple shows here and there. Uh doing my same jokes. I got a I got an open mic tonight. So that's gonna be good. Over at the Comedy Mothership. Throw out oh, some cool. uh throw out some ideas. They got Last a packed, they get a packed crowd at a mic? Yeah, yeah. yeah oh yeah. my god, that's incredible incredible. Yeah, it was great. Last night yeah. I was drunk and I, I got a little too angry and yelled at everybody for ten minutes. <laughs> And yes. they didn't think it was funny. <laughs> and, and then it was I was the last one of the night, so then they just had to be like, that was it. <laughs> so, so I put a little, real sour note, and they said, all right, pack up, get the fuck out. Do you live here, or where do you live? Uh, yeah, I'm in Austin. I live in Austin. So uh -huh. uh, right by that comedy mothership, I'm like five minutes away. Oh, I kinda, nice. I live on the I live on the poor street, so it's me and the comedians, and we're all poor together on one street. Oh, that's so, nice. Yeah, it's nice. nice. We got a, we got a Taco Bell, and we got a Popeyes, and a McDonald's. So yeah. things are pretty good. Any uh, uh, check cashing places or liquor stores? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of de there's a lot of people that get shot, and uh, a lot of ambulances. And uh, really, yeah, yeah. The, cr the crime rate in that area is bad. Yeah, it's like they decided to put all the crime where we live. So. They put it all on that one street, Riverside Drive, and uh, but it's kind of nice. Keeps me on my toes out there. Mm. Sometimes, if you wake up, you can uh, wake up the gunshots, stuff like that. You're on a roll. Keep going, kid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're on a roll. Right. It goes in, it goes out. Where where where'd you <laughs> live down, in? Where where'd you live in LA before you moved? Uh, I lived in. Good uh, question. <laughs> yeah, I lived in what was that part of town? Uh, not Atwater Village is where, uh, yeah, like the Hispanic part of town. The, uh, part of the whole town's Hispanic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they got some. Why? <laughs> yeah, guy. so I uh, hung around a lot of laundromats over there. Uh, Sounds like fun. Yeah, good time. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> Yeah, they got what's that chicken place in LA that drive? Oh, that's place? another one. You never remember. Everything's a fucking chicken place. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do. You, you want, can we fish with that chicken? Uh, yeah, um, they got chicken over there. Poco Loco, oh, yeah. Poco Loco, crazy chicken. Uh, did, yeah. wait, did, did you work the door at the store? Or no, this the, this is the first club you worked at was uh, Comedy Mothership. Yeah, no, I was uh, I was a door guy at the comedy store. I got hired maybe like two years in the comedy, uh, and then before that, I worked as Paulie Shore's assistant. That was like my first uh, job. So I would like take him around in my. Take me around? <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> Paulie Shore. I oh, had, uh, I, I, I always get <laughs> See how comfortable yeah. the, the the room got. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it did. When he, when he comes in, when he comes out. It's so sad. He should just take a bow if he wants to, but not, he's not big enough for that, you know? For bows? Not big enough for bows? Not that kind of bow, like a drunken walking in, you know, hey, how you doing? It, it didn't <laughs> work. And I think Tony is a, that doesn't want to, you know, get into it with the family. Mm. Did you see yeah. attention? Well, that, that was the night you were killing. Yeah, I, th I think so. I think so. Uh, yeah, uh, Paulie, I, I never know how to talk to. That. He'll he'll come up and he'll say, "Hey, fat fat guy, you're getting fat today," and then I'll be like, "Oh, okay," and then he'll be like, "Come on the show," <laughs> and then I'll go. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, well, his his brothers were there that night. We 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 uh, went to, to um, yeah. Peter. Uh, yeah, Peter. Yeah, uh, Peter. Peter was there Peter too. Right? Dom? Yeah. Peter and Scott, yeah. Yeah, Eleanor was trying to talk me up to Peter, and she's like, oh, he used to, this kid used to be at the door, and now he's over here. And he said, oh, jumping ship, huh? And then I was like, all right, I'm going to leave the green room. 
<laughs> I'm gonna get out. <laughs> All right, yeah. Sam. It was supposed to be like for quiet, so everybody's smoking in there. Nobody gives a fuck. The green room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they, I, I, they should put an end to this. Yeah. <laughs> like Dom, the, how'd you learn to talk to people, Dom? How am I learning to talk to people? Yeah, how'd you learn to talk to people? I don't know how to talk. Are you, to are you them wise guys? When is that being there? <laughs> no, no, I'm being serious. I, Thank you. Because you talk with intent. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot where I spelled it. I mean, you have to do that when you have after so many mental breakdowns. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so did you get your gig yet? Uh, yeah, I, I, got, I got a gig every once in a while. Wait, which gig are you talking about? I wasn't talking to you. Okay. Steve. Uh, Oh, well, yeah, it's a pleasure great. to have you on the show. I'm sorry about, for the background noise, but that's all I could get. What what gig, Dom? What's that? What gig? Yeah, you and asked me. Fucking I... drooling now. Me? <laughs> what the fuck is that? You're, it's a pick on Steve Knight. What did I do to you? Jesus Christ. We're having a good time, I thought. How long have we been done doing this? I gotta, I gotta go. There's a basketball 40, game on. 40 minutes. Are you gonna watch the next tonight? No, we're gonna right. do ten more minutes of food. Uh, don't look good. They don't look good. Is this thing on? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Is this? It? They call a man who walks in his sleep. Roman Catholic. <laughs> Dom, yes. did you ever talk to Michael Richards? Or are you were you guys friends? Oh God, I I used to see him every day because I was, we had a studio. I was on Damian Wayne's show, and he was, uh -huh. and like he's crazy. Some days he's like, like, and then the next day, Dom, how are you doing? He's like, fucking nut. I, I didn't see that coming. I mean, all he had to do, like, when when you get to that level of pop popularity, all you got to do is, hey, I love you guys. Never, you know, he didn't. Right. He was worried that the, you know, there's like some young guys that are are better than him because he was practicing, uh, you know, acting, and they're right. practicing stand up. Mm -hmm. But he didn't like the attention they would get because it was like. A, he would come up, the standing ovation, standing ovation, and wow, and start talking about politics and uh, religion. You know, yeah. you don't you don't go after them unless you're really polished. You know, right? And so he's, too, they, he's probably too famous too at that point, right? Oh yeah, well that's that's when the the little cameras came out. Right. Yeah, but he 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 did stand up after TV. He wasn't a stand up first, was he? I don't think so. I think he was an improv actor. Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. I mean, with his acting on Seinfeld, you know, he was, he was fucking good. I mean, I, I never, I never thought that like they would fit a, a guy like him between uh, day, between them. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, he played George. You mean? Oh, Seinfeld? he was good. He was fucking great. Um, why, why, Jason Alexander? That, that's his name. I couldn't think of it. Yeah, he was like a, he was like a theater actor too, right? Didn't he do yeah. Broadway and stuff like that? Jason Alexander. Well, they were giving out um, Grammy awards, and uh, he, he was mad that he didn't get one. And uh, I said, hey, Jason, I mean, you got the fucking you got the, he he's got the one for the um, the Broadway shows. What's that? Uh, so, the Tonys. Yeah, that's the hardest one to get. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, I got I got a shitload of that. I don't know of those things. I didn't even. My my goddaughter was living with me, and she found them. I had never, never even seen them. Like Tony's? we didn't all go. <laughs> you want my, Tony's? Um, yeah. My, um, my, my, here, hey Arnold. Yeah. Uh -huh. I had like I got all these things. It was so cool, but it was like two years after it was pulled up the hair. You know. Right. Yeah, that was a great show. Yeah, I was working on uh, Hey Arnold. Oh, it was great, because my partner was the guy who does the voice of uh, Simpsons. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, he's Dan so Ca so Ca talented, Castel uh, Dan Castellanata, or yeah, something like that. Yeah, Castellano, it's really good. They, they had it on the on the, this English woman's like a little butt thing. They um, and uh, you know, the, the um, they wanted to do with the, 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 this little f funny cartoon, 
and when it hit the air, boom! It, it, you know, it ended up taking its own series. Yeah, wow. had a lot did, of talent. Did, did did they come to you, Dom, or you or you auditioned for that? For that, they they came to me. Um, they they saw me and what I was doing that goofing around with the. Is this thing on? Hello, ooh, ah, ooh. It was a, a bad lounge comedian, right? And they liked that that character in this little fat Italian. I, mean, I can fuck them. I didn't say that, but you know, <laughs> with that kind of tone. Yeah, he was like a construction guy, right? The guy he like ran a wrecking ball or something, if I remember yeah. right, on the show. And he, and he didn't have any kids, you know. And he wanted he saw he wanted to get a, a Father's Day kick and. Remember that we got real like sappy. Yeah. Arnold, can I call you son? <laughs> yeah. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I remember and, that episode. And no, then I mean, the, that episode where uh, he tries to get like the hot woman who's uh, taller than him. And oh yeah, that yeah. she was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. She uh, like cartoon. She said she she was. She goes, uh, do you want me to do the, you know, the talk regular or do, 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 a, do a character? Do you want a character? And we're thinking, just don't fucking move. Just talk the way you, you really, really talk. Because yeah, she, she enlarged and enlarged in something, women's magazine. You know, guys get jerked off on big fat girls. <laughs> no offense to <laughs> Dom, is that is that the same thing that happened with uh, Boy Meets World? They, they seen your act? Or you no, had you know, them? some clown, literally a clown. He used to come out beside the, the uh, comedy store. He told them about this character I was doing. Uh -huh. So they just came and gave me the character. It was um, uh, Pacho Cellini. He was an Italian hairdresser. And he, that little girl, uh, uh, Patanga Pat or something. Yeah, Topanga. Topanga, Topanga. Is her name. Yeah. She was fucking hot, man. They called me like... Um, <laughs> <laughs> 14 and here we get out of here. <laughs> Imagine if that was legal for a 15 year old. Oh, <laughs> edit, edit. Uh, you wouldn't like that. And I would go like these guys, they go to a place where it's legal. Uh, it ain't a sin over here. Yeah, they get to go to Africa. Bring your granny out too. I don't give a fuck now. <laughs> <laughs> Where were we? We were talking about Topanga on set. Well, they, they called me a couple, uh, and I did their their uh, pod, pod. I can't talk today. Podcast. Podcast. And, yeah. yeah. They were really, really nice kids. So I had so much fun with them because, like, I'm, next door was um, Seinfeld on the other mm -hmm. the other side, and they're real serious. They're serious comedy comedy guys, you know. Mm -hmm. Everything has to be right, and. and uh, but and, and these kids were just having fun. They're fucking, you know, fourteen, whatever they were. It was a so great it, show too. That, what, that, I mean, that show yeah. went for a while, and it was it was a really quality show all the way through. Yeah. But when, you, when, when you when you did your Seinfeld episode, that was when it was really starting to heat up, right? Yeah. What, what was it like doing that episode on uh, on Seinfeld? It was like uh, you said they're all serious, right? So was yeah, it wasn't intimidating. Really George was the, the only fun one. Oh, you know, like 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 Jerry and Larry, they weren't loose with you. I thought you guys did stand up before together. Yeah, well, this is stand up, you know, and this is a lot of money now. I hate now the the big leagues of you know billion dollars. And he was they, both of them were insanely meticulous about that show too, right? Yeah. Uh, he, I had a, 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 a um, who's the uh, the. The Boston Bruins, Boston Bruins. Somebody got me pretty beautiful and says I rare on the back. And I had it on, but it was for re rehearsal. He says, get this shirt off, will you? And he goes, no, no, I like the color. It matches the Dom, this, and so, you know, and I got people from Boston. I'm like, hey, thanks for wearing that, man. I didn't know what the fuck he's talking about. But uh, everything is just so, you know, everything is that, is that the, what, what, what a pistol you use? Yeah, can I get it? Yeah. It became a shrine before yeah. while it was still in the air. Wow, it's it's the best though. I think for say Ray Romano is a terrific actor. The whole thing, but it just didn't have that killer thing that 
you know, it's hard to bring to TV, to TV you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because well, they you said they weren't having as much fun as like the other people on like Hey Arnold and stuff. Because they didn't. Uh, oh, Hey Arnold, that was so much fun. Because yeah. we would improvise after we had we read, read the lines three times, and then you could do the wild wild spot they called it, and you just mm -hmm. make make up things. And so a lot of times that would go into the show. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. When before you go before you go up on stage. What are you, are you thinking like, I'm going to have fun or are you thinking about the material? Well, if you say you're gonna, I'm going to have fun, it's much better attitude. You know, just go out and have fun and fuck it. Mm -hmm. I mean, but it, it's, it's easy to say, but some, when I was up for the Tonight Show, I got it because the girls at the rim, the uh, waitresses at the, at the uh, improv liked my act. I was like a late nighter, mm -hmm. but he also loved girls. So he had, he, he the girls took took, took he, him to see me and that's how I got it. I didn't, I didn't get it on my own. I got it with the these, these girls following me following mm -hmm. anyway. Just the waitresses, yeah. So I so I, I, I said, do, well, do you want to see my five minutes? Said, do what you do now. It's fine. I right, just too easy. Then I get there. I'm behind the curtain, and he's there. He's he patting my back, and you'll be ready to have a. Uh, and he says, "Have fun." I said, "Fun." He says, "Fun." It's fucking torture. <laughs> Everything I've done is all squeezed into this little little bottle. That's going to come. That, 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 I'm standing there. There's Doc Savinson, Ed McMahon, and I'm, I'm standing in my little guinea suit. Hey, how you doing? Forget about it. Hey. <laughs> so <laughs> it wasn't fun. I'll tell you that. But if you can get that to that level, that's great. The old Carol Burnett show. They used to always break up laughing, but mm -hmm. it's fun to see somebody break up and and really laugh, you know. Instead of like wrote it, wrote it in a laugh, 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 chuckle, up, chuckle, up, you know. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, the, the, so, so have have fun and then get girls to like you, because then <laughs> the the ones who yeah. like the girls will <laughs> will like you. D Dylan, yeah. when you when you did your first TV spot on uh, David Spade show. Yeah. Was that a lot? Was that a lot? Was, yeah, that, was, was, that, was, that? was that loose or a lot of pressure? It was a lot of pressure. I had never done anything and I was a real young guy. So I, I felt nervous. I, I went to the craft table before they filmed my set and I just ate a bunch of mozzarella and gummy, uh, gummy oh, worms. Geez. And then, so then the pressure started to hit me and all I had was cheese and gummy worms. And I, it was the same thing. It was torture. <laughs> but it was great after, you know, but the well, feeling of like messing up my first thing was all I was like. And then I just had to drop it eventually. David had a talk show, right? Yeah. Uh, Cold what Lights do you, Out. What, David what do you mean messing up? You Your first joke didn't land? No, I was just, well, I went up and they had to refilm the, the first one because they didn't have like the mic on or something. And then oh, so they had to refilm God. it. So then same. I was. <laughs> you had to head. do the same set for the same crowd. Well, they stopped it after like ten seconds, but uh, then I just said, you know, like, oh, you guys are great, or try to make a little joke in between from when they were going to start filming again, and then that helped a little bit uh, ease things up. But yeah, I I always get nervous. I'm nervous all the time, especially with stuff like that. So I, I wonder if like doing it a bunch, how how you stop getting nervous? I I, I stop getting nervous for opening in front of share. It's like sometimes we have we have as much as uh, thirty thousand people. Some places like holy oh, shit, but I just I just covered on the the um, the, the, the front ten thousand people. That's who I went after. Fuck the other, you know. Uh -huh. And I, I I try to make it talk to the bouncers and all that shit. The guy says, to me, "He says we got to go on." And we th I thought the lunch. Would, uh, he goes, I, "I thought the lunch would be down. The sun would be down by now." I go, "You know, there's a thing called the al almanac that could tell you when the sun's going down." You fucking moron! <laughs> you know? well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but that I, after doing that, the only time it made me you know, my sister came when I was doing Madison Square Garden, mm -hmm. and um, you know she, she had great crowds. She has like a grandmother and a, you know, like everybody. And uh, she's very good. 
And my sister goes, I can't believe you're doing Madison Square Garden. She goes, Ali fought here. Everything. The Beatles came here. I goes, please, please don't do this, you know. Yeah. I want, yeah. You're, you're good, you know. So then my, my heart's beating, and I got a glass of red wine, and I'm looking around. I'm fucking, it's supposed to bomb. <laughs> you know? But luckily, I got this guinea thing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, forget about it. <laughs> so any, any more? What was Madison Square Garden like? Because you, you said you were nervous, but then you obviously went up and. Yeah, I just I just dove into it and, and did it. did have fun. I was acting silly. Silly, I tell you. But it was the, the thought of it was terrifying. Yeah. But you, you got to, you, you can't try too hard, you know. You just do what you do and. Like the, you can't like now. I'm really gonna show them, blah, blah, you know, because that doesn't work. Or no, they, they see they, on it. Or? If they see, if they see like pain and nervous nervousness in your eyes, they'll come after you. Yeah. Yeah. Stand up, serious shit. <laughs> yeah. But I, my first thing was, um, I was a rabbi and fiddler on the roof. And I didn't want to let the other guys down because I sucked, you know. But um, I imagine I was like a 19-year-old rabbi, rabbi who's supposed to be like 100. Right. And my, my only line was, hey, Fiddler, stay away from her. Bum, bum, bum. It was like all these bum, 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 bum. You know, you, you know Fiddler, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, just, yeah. Don't, I just don't remember the line that the character had. Oh, yeah, yeah. What was that one? But that was the first, that was the that was the first thing you did, Dom. Your first performance. Yeah, that was like a big deal, like the big big you know, thing in the, in the school, a couple mm -hmm. thousand people, you know. But I I did um, yeah I did like start I don't know same stuff intro improv we to stand up. You had a good you got you had an episode uh, King of Queens too right, uh -huh. With Kevin James. Yeah, it was weird fun. We had too much fun, and I didn't study the lines. I didn't know what to do, so I, I did them a little, and then I did my own version. Yeah. I like that, so it stars lucky because I, I really was stupid not to study. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you were you're just having fun, so, so it worked yeah. out. Yeah, I just I was trying to. I just I went overboard. I, I, I was like, uh, they, were, they were acting like they, they don't know if he was straight or gay. And um, I don't know, it was all a, like a, a, a joke, mm -hmm. like, you know, but I had to like act first that I'm, that I'm gay, second that I'm not gay, but then, you know, it was like a whole complicated shit, but yeah. it turned out okay. But I did, I did, I said, fuck this, I'm having fun. You know? Yeah. And, and they were, they were more loose to work with. Yeah. Yeah. They were number one, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you do when you you are like uh, not in a fun mood? Like if you're in a bad mood, but you oh, gotta, gotta be having fun. What do you do? You gotta, you know, it's a it's a job. You can't let them down. Mm -hmm. they, they hide you for a reason, you know. Yeah. True. Just do their job. We had that that thing going. It was a shame. Um, for uh, I'm, I'm dying up here. Oh, that was great. Like, that was a great a couple of two two years two years of that stuff. Jim Carrey series about the store. Yeah, yeah. Well, Jim gave me that that part. I was uh, <clears throat> I was in the um, doing a, a guest spot. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know they were there. Who they were? <clears throat> I did. I had a pretty good set. And they, they, they were because they were looking for a young guy, handsome, and all this. I was everything that not what they wanted. But Jim goes, You gotta, you gotta, you gotta ask Tom. He's like, He's there and he's with you know, it was so, so great. I mean, you get, you know, the guy, all the money picking you out because I, I hate, I hated fucking, I hated um, being judged like that. Right. Big fat. I remember reading the sports page, eating a fucking science sandwich, and getting. And she wasn't even looking at me. And I thought to myself, I'm never auditioning again. That's how every audition is in Hollywood? Oh my God. Yeah, it's always a big fat. 
judging you. With the sandwich. There's <laughs> four. The I sandwich. pulled on her beard. Oh. <laughs> well, guys, yeah. I, I, gotta, I gotta go. And thank you for being coming on uh, next Dude, time. Thank you. Thanks, thank Tom. You so much. Yo, Tom. Hey. Hey, Tom hey. Yo, Tom.